um, five years from now, my goals are to um, have my own shop. And because I'm in the hospital, mm -hmm. there are patients there that are um, probably used to getting their hair done or uh -huh. getting the Medicare's and pedicures. So right. I would like to expand my business to those patients that's also in the hospital. Oh, that's fantastic. That's, that's a good mission. And what about you? Um, my five years from now, I plan on owning my own shop as well. Owning your own shop. Mm -hmm. um, again, how long did you say that uh, your, your course runs in terms of weeks? Um, six to eight weeks. Six it just depends on the class. If I mm -hmm. think that they're not grasping just the basics, mm -hmm. I'll extend it to, you know, the eight weeks. Mm -hmm. But normally it's six, between se six and seven. Mm -hmm. In this three and a half classroom, they have homework every day. They have okay. tests almost every day. Mm -hmm. They've got to write papers. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's school. Right. And it's very intense. Okay. <laughs> and is it like an open enrollment? And when I say that, does that mean that uh, every six to eight weeks you may start a new class? Or is it only possible to become a part of your training program like traditional schools in September when school starts and things like that? No, actually we did six schools this year. Oh, did you? Yes, we did. Okay. We did six. And, and next year it's my goal to do at least ten. Mm -hmm. So we're doing, um, having every every six to seven weeks, mm -hmm. another school with two weeks in between, mm -hmm. you know, just to debrief but yeah they're they're continuous all year and they can just call the Southside Mission and we'll interview them mm -hmm. and uh, we'll get them started. How much does it cost to attend your training program? It is absolutely free. Free? Absolutely free. I don't ever hear that word <laughs> <I don't laughs> anymore. Free. It is no hidden fees, no hidden costs. It is absolutely free. However, mm -hmm. there is a price and a dedication to your time. Well, that is great. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could you share with our viewers uh, what some of your past graduates may have accomplished in terms of where they may be here either in the community or gone on to other communities in terms of jobs and careers? Yes, we have, um, I have a student that's currently at Methodist. Uh, okay. She is very special to me. She had six kids. Wow. Um, she is under, I think she's like 33 or something, mm -hmm. but she never missed a day. Okay. She came every day. Uh -huh. um, she was she was dressed according to our curriculum guidelines. Mm -hmm. uh, she did straight A's. She graduated with our Spirit of Excellence Award, which is like mm -hmm. a cum laude or right. you know, like that, yeah. valedictorian or whatever you want to call it. Um, she graduated top of her class. She went on the Methodist. Uh, she works in the uh, dining area, the cafeteria, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. her love is culinary too. Okay. And they love her there. They, I mean, she had a background, you know, mm -hmm. she had some problems in the past, but she was able to turn her entire life around. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think she's up for promotion. Well, that is great. Yeah. Well, yeah. She must have been very dedicated and very focused in terms yes. of achieving her goal. And yes. that, an example, again, is never too late. No. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter how you begin in life, but where you're moving toward the end of your life. Absolutely. And all the things that happen in between. Well, I'm so glad that she had an opportunity to be trained through your school and given an opportunity to expand herself, mm -hmm. which will unlock her potential in terms of a person and put her in a better position to be there for her, her kids yes. and provide for her kids mm -hmm. and that type of a thing. Yeah, and then we have um, another gentleman. He works at a hotel here in East Peoria. And, okay. Uh, he had a, a criminal background as well. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just was phenomenal. He was focused. He always went above and beyond. Uh, he got straight A's as well, graduated with our Spirit of Excellence Award, mm -hmm. which is straight A's and B's. Mm -hmm. He never missed a day, never was late, mm -hmm. and he too has been promoted also. He's mm -hmm. a, a straight A and B student at Robert Morris College in business. Well, great. So, yeah, we have a lot of success stories, actually. And I sense that just in talking to the three of you, as well as some of the other students that you have here in our uh, studio today observing, that it, it's kind of not just a class like we normally associate a bunch of strangers sitting in the same room, but there's kind of a bonding, there's yeah. kind of a kinship, there's kind of a concern about each other, which I think also enhances your ability to do well in yes. what it is you're doing. Mm -hmm. And you look forward to coming to school, not just for the sake of the class in terms of the education part, but because of the relationships that you have with you 
as well as with each other. And I, I think that makes a, a big difference. Yeah, I agree. I'd like to let them talk about that. It's, they've mm -hmm. got that experience. Mm -hmm. um, and in the classroom, we build up um, more like a sibling type of relationship. That's great. Um, I not only have my close family, but mm -hmm. I also have extended family. And with every class that, um, that I see Miss Harmosha is going to have, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have extended brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm just excited because I get to have that extended family. Mm -hmm. And it's special to me because you get to learn and meet new people. Mm -hmm. Well, that is great. Do you have any comment regarding your relationship with each other? Um, I feel like this friendship is more real, mm -hmm. you know, because we're all on the same page. Mm -hmm. We're all trying to reach the same goals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we can talk about things. We, we have a lot in common, you mm -hmm. know, our, our past, you know, to now. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I appreciate these friendships better than I, I have before this class. Well, it sounds like a win-win-win situation. First of all, you don't have that far to go up to school. Right. Just right here in Peoria, at Southside Mission. You don't have to leave the state, leave the city. And based upon what you said, the price is ideal. I mean, uh, <laughs> the only thing that's costing you is your time your, your, and your dedication. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm just so glad that... Uh, the two. How, how did you two find out about the school? Did you I, hear from, from others that may have gone or, or how, how did you even come in contact with <laughs> knowing about this hospitality training? I find out through a family member of mine. Uh -huh. um, she was telling me that, you know, my attitude needed some adjustment. All right. So I was like, okay, whatever. But she sent mm -hmm. me to Miss Armosha and immediately mm -hmm. <laughs> my attitude was adjusted but um, that's how I heard about it okay. and now I'm the person that telling everybody else that has that needs the attitude adjustment mm -hmm. to go to my armo mm -hmm. so okay Charlena you say you're from Peoria yeah I'm from Peoria okay. well hopefully there are some of your peers that know you from being here mm -hmm. that um, hopefully will be inspired and motivated by seeing you and how enthused you are in terms of the opportunities here at the I do South Side I, Mission. I talk about it a lot, you know, and when I speak about this class, I speak very highly of this class and, uh, and of Miss Armosha. So, you know, um, I'm just hoping that just by me, you know, telling someone else that they they come mm -hmm. and is more interested than, you know, more people. Well, I certainly am hoping that those who are watching tonight that know you as well as many who probably don't know you, have heard something either from the three of you or about this program that will cause your phone to ring off the hook <laughs> to see when is the next class going to start and that um, you will be able to continue this ministry. And I look at it as a ministry. Yeah, it's that it's uh, ministry. you're not just teaching hospitality and service, you're being of service to the individuals who are in your class and helping them to realize their full potential to make an attitude adjustment. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to compliment you for at least saying that, that, you know, whether you said it to yourself or somebody else said it to you, to realize it or to accept it and to make that type of an adjustment because you have far more years in life ahead of you than you have behind you. And whatever you've done, is over. It's in the rear view mirror. The most important thing now is to look out of the windshield of where you're going in life and put yourself in a position to be as successful as God has given you the talents and the abilities to be. So I, uh, I'm i just delighted, ladies, that you're here and I'm delighted of the job that you've done with these ladies as well as the individuals that you just mentioned that have finished your school and are going on and, 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 and doing well. Um, can you share any other things that are connected in terms of what you attempt to do in your classes yes. or, or whatever? Currently, um, we are, after all the six classes or schools that we have done mm -hmm. at the Southside Mission, 
under the hospita hospitality training school, we are at 100% placement. In other words, if you come through my class, mm -hmm. you are, you know, you, we, we have vendors that are actually calling me. I have more positions than I do have students. And so, <laughs> and so you know, God does not have to, and our, mm -hmm. our leader tells us all the time, he does not participate in a recession. Mm -hmm. So we are at 100%. Everyone that comes through our school gets a position mm -hmm. as well as we mm -hmm. set them up with college. We, we just help them, mm -hmm. you know, pull mm -hmm. out that destiny within mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. uh, we are also connected to ICC, who has uh, given us an opportunity to add on to our, our hospitality a piece of construction. Okay. So we have, they have a construction school, which mm -hmm. uh, they've allowed us to have three spots in. And so mm -hmm. some of the men that come through, we'll have them interview through them and test through them. and and hopefully get a construction piece started. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we, we're excited. God is really blessing the, the Southside Mission and I'm just glad to be a part of it. I tell you, you sound like a lighthouse. <laughs> uh, in, in the terms, midst of community. In, in the midst of community yep. and the things that you're doing there in terms of having a free education, placement for 100%. I can't think of any other school in the area they can claim that. In fact, you read about and hear about the fact that we've got all these people finishing school and training schools and can't find jobs. Right. And you're saying that you're able to do that. Oh, yeah. And uh, that, as I said, that's very unique. I'm, mm -hmm. And I'm so glad that we're covering Southside Mission because most of the time we only think in terms of Southside Mission as a place where you can go and get help in terms of things. Yes. And you're now sharing with us, as well as during our first segment, that uh, as they used to say, rather than just giving out a fish, you teach people how to fish. Mm -hmm. And people can come to Southside Mission not just to get something that they can carry in a bag or a box or over their shoulder, but can carry in their head and carry in their heart in terms of training that can impact not only them, but all of their family members. And, Absolutely. Uh, I, uh, I can't think of a better person to be involved in this program than, than, than you, Rev, and excuse me for calling you Rev. It's and, okay. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it, it and uh, I, I've always attended church, but I often feel that, you know, the real Christianity isn't being within a building, but being in the community. That's right. And that seems as if that's how you have approached the ministry in mm -hmm. terms of doing things not just on a Sunday morning from 11 to 1 or whatever, <laughs> but doing something during the week yes. that can restore people, revive people, and uh, point them in the direction so that they can truly find themselves and through that find their God in whatever way in which they, that can be. Yeah, we have a lot of them that come in and they're not believers and they come mm -hmm. out believing in the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ. And that is the mission, uh, mission statement at mm -hmm. Southside Mission. Mm -hmm. we, we just want to clothe the naked and feed the hungry and we want to lead all souls to Christ. Well, again, ladies, I want to thank you for joining me as well as our viewers in hearing your story. And uh, hopefully you will inspire them. The purpose of captions from my point of view is to educate people and you now let them know that a program exists to motivate people. Hopefully they have heard and seen how you've been motivated for people to participate. And hopefully those of you who are watching tonight will either be encouraged yourself or find a friend or a relative that can benefit from this program. This is Andre Bohannon again thanking you for watching Captions. Look forward to seeing you next week. God bless you. Good night.